So then let's let's talk about uh, specialty alloys that are available through MIN. And uh, as I mentioned before, uh, this is one of the uh, the core strengths of of OptiMIN's manufacturing capabilities. And and we want to uh, maybe just go over uh, some of the alloys that are available uh, through MIM and at OptiMIM in particular. Uh, on the left side, we have a category that uh, we would consider to be our standard alloys where quite a bit of our, our production uh, would, uh, would utilize. We have low alloy steels, 300 series stainless steels, 400 series stainlesses, precipitation hardening stainlesses, and also tool steels. And then over on the right in the specialty alloy column, we have alloys such as uh, T400, which is cobalt alloy, ASTM F15. Some of you uh, might have heard of this under the trade name Kovar. Uh, there are soft magnetic alloys, which includes uh, nickel iron and silicon irons, uh, nitronic 60, copper, and then also uh, we want to mention custom blended alloys. Uh, we have a few uh, proprietary alloys that were developed at Optimum, and we also have the ability to uh, develop custom alloys for uh, particular applications uh, that might require uh, special properties from a material. So, uh, so we just encourage you to, to inquire if you have uh, a specialty application that's in need of, of uh, special properties that maybe only a, a custom material can provide. And then I also wanted to mention just briefly, uh, the metal selector tool that's available on Optimum's website. Uh, this tool allows you to enter uh, the mechanical properties that you require, and it will list the uh, materials that can provide those properties. And, uh, and then also, you can also uh, search by materials and, uh, and look at, uh, at uh, other properties of, of the materials. It's a really good tool when you're uh, wanting to, to zero in on uh, what might be the best material for an application. And then uh, before we get into details of some specialty alloys, I'd like to mention our, our materials properties in general. Uh, this graphic shows uh, some bar charts of uh, mechanical properties of our 17-4 stainless steel. Now these bars represent uh, actual properties uh, from our industry federation uh, that were uh, collected from coupons that were sent in by uh, the federation members, and then um, and then they were reported. Uh, the the dark blue bars on the left of these uh, charts show uh, Optimum 17.4 properties. So you have ultimate strength, yield strength in the middle, and on the right elongation. Uh, in the uh, in the middle of each one of these charts are uh, typical properties, and then the gray bars represent minimum properties. So you can see uh, those bars on the left, Optimum's properties uh, are higher in every case than uh, the typical and the minimum properties. And uh, our materials in general really tend to stand out from uh, from the rest of the field in terms of mechanical properties. And it's it's due directly to uh, the process controls and uh, the fact that we don't purchase uh, off the shelf feedstocks, but we, uh, we blend our own feedstock and control all the parameters that go into those, which uh, really gives us, uh, gives us an edge. Now, first of all, uh, I want to talk about some details of a uh, particular specialty alloy, ASTM F15. Now, this is a, a uh, high nickel and uh, cobalt alloy. Uh, it has a low coefficient of thermal expansion. It's often used in electronics applications, and it's used for, in general, uh, hermetic uh, sealing enclosures of uh, metal to glass. 
and it's often used in aerospace applications. Uh, one of the benefits of this alloy, uh, not only does it match the coefficient of thermal expansion of borosilicate glasses and aluminum oxide, but it uh, it's good for applications that can see a wide temperature range. Uh, some example uses uh, are uh, small components in radar systems and uh, and in satellites. Uh, next, we have copper. Uh, MIM copper uh, is an excellent thermal and uh, electrical uh, conductor, and uh, it's important to uh, to mention that it can be treated just like wrought copper. Uh, it it's machinable, platable, brazeable, crimpable, stakeable, uh, anything that you can do uh, to uh, a wrought copper part, you can you can do to a mem copper part. Uh, some common applications include uh, heat sinks, fuel cells, and sensors. Uh, it's often used in uh, miniaturized applications, and uh, it's it's used primarily for thermal management and, and electrical conductivity. Uh, the next alloy uh, is Nitronic 60. Uh, this is a, a great alloy. It's uh, nitrogen strengthened austenitic uh, steel, uh, very similar to 300 series uh, stainless steels. Uh, it has good corrosion resistance and high temperature oxidation resistance, and it has good mechanical properties, uh, including high shear strength and low temperature impact strength. Uh, its mechanical properties are about uh, double what you would find uh, in 316. And uh, the reason that, uh, that most applications call for this alloy are its uh, excellent anti-galling properties and wear performance. Uh, the applications include uh, pump components, chain drives, medical instruments, automotive valves. And uh, if you think of uh, uh, maybe high temperature applications where uh, lubricant isn't an is not an option, uh, this alloy can be a really good choice. 